Hey guys, it's Kat. So I just wanted to give you guys a little update on my concept for the Boppet Catherine. Um, I did get a world's smallest Boppet 3D scanned, and here's what the scan looks like. If it'll open. Just so you know, this video will not be cropped down or edited because my video editor is not working right now. So, come on, just launch, will ya? Here it comes. <clears throat> Oh, great. It's opening multiple windows. There we go. So this is the 3D scan. This, let me zoom in. This is actually the back of the Boppet, the world's smallest Boppet. Um, the Boppet button is on the opposite, it's on the bottom, actually. So you can actually, if you zoom in, you can see the little dot the spots here for the speaker holes and you can see part of where the logo was on the on the bop its button um the twist it did get a little messed up but this was used during using a 3d scanner so it was kind of hard to like scan it i guess um but i wanted to tell you guys today that Last night, I finished making the Boppet Catherine uh, character concept, and I'm going to show you what the pieces look like. I sent them to my 3D guy earlier today. Um, I had to fix some things and then resend it to him. But I'm going to show you all how the Boppet Catherine is going to look in terms of 3D print. So let me go into view here. You guys can see that I have six pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Come on. And six, there we go. I don't know why it was. So I've got six pieces. I don't know why it's having issues already. Um, but if I put all these together, I can now open them all in the 3D builder, I guess is what it's called. If I select all six files, I can open them all at once. So here's what the character design it is uh the bop it is going to look like. So as you can see, I have two halves for the head. You can already see like the line right here that divides them. I've got two halves of a body, so I've got the top half and the bottom half. It's on the on both sides. Well, I know this might be a slightly off, but um, you can see the world's smallest boppet will fit in this circle. The twist will go in this small hole by the head. And then the pullet will go through this hole. And the pullet is long enough to uh, go through and to the pants or to the legs. So, similar to Dan's Boppet design for a character, um, except I made my head round instead of like uh, like a rounded rectangle. I'll show you guys how 
each piece looks on its own as well. Because, I mean, you just saw the shell, but you don't know exactly, like, how is it going to fit in there, cat? Well, I'll show you. Oh, come on. I need to get a new computer is what I need to do. Come on, any time now. Okay, so here, this is the upper half of the body. Ah, fuck. Okay, so what, what did I all open here? Okay, so here's the lower half of the head right here. You can see where the twist mechanism would end up going. You can see the little grooves, the grooves in the twist it. Here's the head. So the other half of the twisted goes, I know it's blocked by numbers, but you can see where it overlaps. The upper half of the body, so it's completely, it's shaped just right. Um, I did have to add like, they're not really arms per se, but they're close enough. Um, and then I got, you put the bop it through here, pull it comes out this end, twist it this end. Here's the lower half of the body. If my computer didn't decide to be a yutz today, because I'm running a lot of stuff at, at once right now. Come on. Yeah, I know you're not responding. What the hell is wrong with you? Um, hello? So if it'll open, thank you. Here's the lower half of the body. So this little spot here, this little spot that's coming out here is actually the screw hole for the battery cap. And then the screw hole right here is for putting together part of the boppet, I guess. Um, I think. The legs. So we got the lower half of the um, legs. So you can see the pullet is is. Uh, the pullet hole, like, because it's the, there's a screw on the underside of the pullet on the world's smallest. So that's what this is right here. You can see it in better detail. And then the upper half of the legs, can, that you can see, like, there's the hole for the top there. So, and then I just fit them all together and they'll become a bop it Catherine ah son of a bitch so yeah they'll become this um, I do have some decorating I want to do on this before I show it off once it's done. Um, 
you guys may have seen before, I did get a Barbie doll to get the hair right for the Catherine Boppet um, style. The mold here, I did get a Bop or uh, I did get a Barbie doll to match the hair. Um, so I'm going to use that, um, and then I'm probably going to use paint, um, like t like a tan colored like paint for this. So, we'll see what happens. Um, but anyway, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update on how the Bop at Catherine is working out so far. Um, if you haven't seen my test mode kept concept for the Bop at Catherine, um, check the video in the description is my Bop at Catherine test mode audio. Um, but yeah, so I just wanted to show you guys this, um, progress so far. Um, I'm hoping this fits a lot better than the Bop at Miku concept did. Of course, I didn't have it scanned for the Miku, but, but I think this actually will turn out. This will be like the first project out of like 10 different projects that I've had that will, that will actually turn out well. So, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Like I said, I'll keep you guys updated for stuff about the Bop at Catherine concept. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye!